Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the replay, if you're watching the replay. Um, I have my camera much lower. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's shorter than me, which is very rare, because I'm short, if you guys didn't know. Um, welcome to today's video, which I'm very excited about, because both of these concepts are not necessarily new, but they are new to me and they're new to my community and they're new to me sharing about them. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you have heard of these products before I started talking about them. And I mean like not just because they're starting to bubble in the crafting world, but like before this little percolating DTF talk has started happening. Have you heard of this? Are you in the profession of doing these things? Where are you guys at on your knowledge of DTF versus UV DTF, which is what we're gonna talk about today. And I wanted to put this video out ASAP because you guys are gonna see me doing a lot with mixed media and mixing these two techniques together with other techniques that we've learned. Um, and so when I learned about the two, I was one, really excited for many different reasons, and two, I was also um, alarmed because I was like, oh no, people are gonna get confused real quick. We already have a lot of other things that are named so many things in the crafting world like iron-on, heat transfer vinyl, HTV, permanent vinyl, one for, you know what I mean. In the Cricut world, in the die cutting world, um, companies like to change names of things so that they feel like, that you feel like you're getting a product that is exclusive, but in reality, the name has just been altered so that you um, don't get confused, so that, you, so that you really do get confused. So when I found out that DTF, which we've done a DTF 101, um, and I explain exactly what it is, which I will explain again in this video, and now I've done a what the heck is UV DTF. We've talked about the difference in different videos, but I wanted this to be one video so that you guys can directly side by side see the difference. And if you're in the cricketing world or the DIY world already and you have a die cutter where you cut decals for shirts or decals for tumblers, you're gonna know what I mean exactly when I say this, that DTF is very similar to heat transfer vinyl and UV DTF is very, diff or very similar to adhesive vinyl. If you don't know what that means, that's okay because we're gonna break it all down today. So DTF stands for direct to film and UV DTF stands for ultraviolet direct to film. <laughs> um, are you confused yet? Yes, because they are two completely different products. So it really drives me nuts that they have almost the same name. It almost makes you think UV DTF is like a color changing. That's what I thought when I saw the words UV DTF. I was like, oh, well, it must be like a uh, color changing in the sun DTF. No, it's completely different. And when you learn it, you're going to be like, oh, okay, now I know. I just, now I know. And so it's just, you just got to know. So my, my goal with this video is make it very simple, but also just have it in one spot so that you can get your answer quickly. And I'll try to get all that out in the beginning of this video. And then if we hang out for maybe five or 10 minutes for some extra questions, let me know in the comments. I'll go to those after I'm done explaining my knowledge on it. And then we'll go, we'll expand if that helps. Okay. So Again, I have 101 on DTF and a one-on-one -on, -one on UV DTF. So I brought out just a couple things to kind of explain the different concept. Now, DTF, direct to film, it is going to require a heating element and there's no stickiness to it. Basically what it is, is a full color print sheet that has a glue adhesive to the back of only the spots that are colored. So it is very similar to heat transfer vinyl, but you do not have to weed it. You do not have to um, cut it. You just simply send it off to a printer or you print it yourself if you have a UV, if you have a DTF printer. I need to add like DTF 
here and UV DTF here. DTF printer, or also called white toner printing. Um, a lot of people are mixing this word in with sublimation, which I'm really hating because I don't wanna confuse anyone any more than they're already going to get. So there is a technique that you can also use sublimation and turn it into a DTF transfer by putting some powder on it. And there's a specific powder that you can shake on top of your sublimation that then turns it into a DTF print. So there's a lot of things coming out around this product, but if you know what heat transfer vinyl is, if you know what iron-on is, uh, it's more along that line. You're gonna need heat for DTF. The best way to get your hands on DTF at the moment for no startup cost except for the actual finished product is to use itsprettypersonal.com. They are a partner of ours and they sell not only do they sell DTF, but they sell UV DTF, and that's why we're doing the whole UV DTF series this week. We're breaking that product down to the core and coming up with ideas and fun stuff for this guy that we're gonna talk about in a second. But while we're on this guy, you guys have seen me make t-shirts with him. Well, today we're gonna make a tote bag with him, but there are a lot of ideas that I have for UV DTF as well. I've done shoes, I've done onesies, I've done bibs, I've done journal covers, I've done a lot of things. So just like heat transfer vinyl, anything that can take heat is gonna be able to take UV or DTF. This is why I, like part of me wants to rename these things. Um, uh, what should we name it? Because I wanna make it so that it's more more understandable but not as confusing because I don't want to confuse you guys because I know that a lot of times I say the wrong word because my brain is saying one thing but my mouth says another thing and so if you hear me mix them up catch it try to catch it because that'll help you learn so we're gonna heat up our easy press and we're gonna create a project with DTF so that you can understand not that I don't think you don't, don't understand. I just want to like beat it into our memories um, because I don't want this to confuse anyone. I don't want you to go to It's Pretty Personal and order UV DTF on accident thinking you're getting DTF or vice versa. So you can order this in 60 inch rolls and 24 inch wide, I believe. Our members get 20% off. If you're in the DTF or UV DTF world you want to sell with this product you want to create with this product often our membership alone is going to pay for itself just in the discount that you get with ordering from it's pretty personal that's just one of our partners we have so many partners um and we have more partners coming i don't we don't have so many partners we have a few select partners and our partnerships are growing uh we have another one being announced today in my email so make sure that you're subscribed to my email list um, to stay up to date on all of that. And what else was I saying? So the, oh, and you get access to all of our designs. So any design I create, which this is where my heart at, is at full color designs are so much more fun for me to create than SVGs. Just putting that out there. So full color designs, you're about to see my membership get crazy because I have a whole UV DTF page launching on Friday that I cannot wait for you guys to see. It's going to have elements for you to design with. It's going to have um, some new characters, some other fun things. So we already have a bunch of cool designs out. Oh, why is this at 400? We don't need you at 400. We need you at 315. Mm -mm. Okay, well, while this is cooling down, I'm going to, I had this set for sublimation for our last video. So 315 and 15 seconds. So if you want to know how to press this, temperatures that you need, all of that, DTF 101. Let's talk about UV DTF while this is cooling down. All right. Easy press. Come on. Okay. Hold first and it helps okay so UV DTF we went over this yesterday now I have a video called what the heck is DTF or UV DTF 
and what the heck is DTF. I have one of those for both of them. So if you wanna see some more details, see that. But what I wanted to show you is just the difference. So this product is sticky. So this has is like a sticker. But, so this is gonna be more like your adhesive vinyl, your decals for your cars, for your tumblers. So I brought out tumblers, but stay tuned for my idea video this week because if you click, if you, so as of this video going up, if you type in UV DTF on Pinterest, all you get is glass bottles and cups. That is all people are making with this stuff. And I'm like, okay, let's jump in and give you guys some ideas because the last thing I want is for you guys all to start selling these cups and then before you know it, everyone and, everyone and their mom and their brother are selling cups and you're like, okay, the, the market is saturated. So what we're gonna do is, and my business membership is currently closed, so you can't sign up as a new business member, but with my business members, I'm gonna be really fine tuning what they sell, why they sell it, and who they're selling it to. So um, with that, Stay tuned for that video because I'm going to be telling uh, telling you guys like a bunch of different things that you can make and create with UV DTF. So this guy is pre-weeded, full color. Like it's basically if you've ever used print and cut, it's very similar to print and cut vinyl except for the fact that it's more vibrant, it's waterproof, and you don't have to weed it because it does have a sticky only on, well, this, this sheet is sticky as well, but this sheet is a separate piece. So this is kind of like the transfer tape, pre-weeded, full color, all in one, and all you gotta do is order it from itsprettypersonal.com. I shared about how I wasn't really behind this product because they were only doing 11 by 11 inch sheets and now they have 22 by 24 inch sheets for about the same price as what they were selling 11 by 11. So now I'm like, okay, now that it's affordable and I'm behind the product 100%, watch out world, because UV DTF is taking over because I'm about to make Christmas presents for everyone. I'm about to make custom labels for everything in my studio. Like the idea that I don't have to print and weed and cut all of it, I can just design it and order it, watch out. Watch out. Okay, so I pulled out a Strata cup and I pulled out this water bottle that Sam blinged that I love, but I feel like he was a little naky. So I wanted to put a little decal on him. And conveniently, I actually am drinking out of my Strata cup today. And I forgot my straw topper again. But look how cute this is with patterned vinyl on it. Stay tuned for a way to order our patterned vinyl again soon. Um, and it has a little bling on it, but it has a metal straw in it though, which I'm not sure if I love right now. Um, <laughs> so these Strata cups I'm obsessed with. I literally just grabbed, I have this little bin just for vinyl that this has been in for years. <laughs> I, don't, I was like, I know I have a bin that just has alcohol and a wipe and like a weeding tool in it, but I didn't need the weeding tool. Okay, so I just wanna give this a good little um, rub with some alcohol first. That way it gets any lint and oil off because that's pretty much all you're gonna need is make sure your surface is clean and prepped um, and it's a hard surface so that you can stick this waterproof decal on it. Uh, I'm really, really obsessed with it. And you guys have probably seen this product quite a bit on glass jars. They are all over the place. People are selling them like crazy all over the place. But we're not in the business of doing what other people do. We're in the business of being innovative and creative. At least I am, I don't know about you guys. But um, I wanna bring you guys some options and ideas that are gonna take your product and your DIYs like above and beyond. So now that I have this concept of both of these, that that unfinished craft room is about to get empty because I literally just grabbed these two things and this tote bag out of there and I was like, I'm dipping into my stash. Okay, so actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come down to top down and we are gonna go here, here, and we're gonna go to my top down uh, project. So we're gonna do a UV DTF to start. I do need one of those cup holder things. I'm trying to decide what, um, can you guys see this? Everything good? Not that I'm looking at comments yet, but, um, okay, so I'm thinking, ooh, that's really pretty. So I got these two flowers out. 
and I kind of like, I'm not sure if I like the orange on any of them. Ooh, that yellow looks, I love yellow and purple. I think I'm gonna do some of those and then layer all the other flowers or I'll save those for another project. I just wanna get something on this cup and I wanna get something on that cup too. Okay, so instead of having to lay transfer tape down on top and burnish and all the things, I just printed it and cut around it lightly. And um, I uploaded a video yesterday showing you how to upload our clip art and fun things. So look how easy that was. Literally so easy. So this is a transfer tape. Now these are super thin. Um, so if you do it too quickly, it'll rip the design. So that's the only thing I found is like, just kind of move slow. You can go faster than you can with vinyl, but you still need to go just like slightly slow. Okay, so I'm gonna go right in the middle. I just noticed these stems, I like those going to the bottom. I'm just gonna put it down. And then you don't have to even rub that hard. Like it's just, it's really permanent and sticky and I love that. And so you just have to kind of get it on there and then this comes off super easy. This is where I was talking about just kind of, it's gonna come off, but just be very delicate because these are so thin, which I love because it's not gonna be like this big decal. It's gonna, it's gonna just sit nicely on that cup and you can layer your designs over each other. Like they don't have to be, like if you have all these watercolor flowers, you can make your own bouquets by hand. You can add some bling, kind of like my cup. So I love subtle bling. Um, it just gives kind of like a boutique-y feel to a product without having to spend hours. So to bling this took me maybe, maybe a couple minutes. Like I just popped some bling in the little areas and it's just a little bit more bougie than it would be, but not like show-stopping bling. So you could pop some bling on top of these and really elevate it. I really feel like we need to do some lid, like if I had a lid top that fit. So I do have a lid top that fits, but it's for an SVG. Um, so I'll have to come up with perfect sizing for your lids uh, for Strata cups and other cups that are on the market. Okay, so this is UVDTF. For everybody, everybody understanding what UVDTF is? I know it's not a complicated subject at all. Let's do, let's go to our DTF product now so that you can see the difference and then we'll finish that other cup together for fun. Okay, so now we're on to back to regular DTF over here. This is, I don't know how to remember how, like, I don't know how to remember <laughs> that. I don't know how to, I, I gotta come up with a fun way to remind you guys what the difference is. Uh, and I know it's not that hard, it's not that complicated, but it's always nice to have a reminder. Okay, so I'm just gonna heat this uh, tote bag up and we're just gonna make this just so you guys can see the difference. Um, so if I were to show you right now, this isn't gonna stick to a water bottle. There's no sticky to it. Also, this could be sticky. This is, I don't wanna mix you guys up, but like this is UV DTF. I, do, I could stick that to a bag, but it's a sticker. Like would you put a sticker on a bag? No. So you wanna glue this down, which DTF has a layer of glue. So I'm using my mini easy press. So we're gonna do two presses um, to get this on here for 30 seconds. So questions so far, I'm gonna make sure you're adding questions because I'm gonna go over all the questions at the end um, and all the things or any other things you want to see me do with this stuff this week and next week. Um, this week I'm really focusing on UV DTF, but moving forward, because of how fast and easy this is and how well it works with our designs. Now this is cold peel, so I have to let this peel. So let's hang out for a sec. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave the It's Pretty Personal thing on there so you guys just know where you're gonna be ordering your DTF and your UV DTF from. So these prints are specifically from them. They are our designs, um, the Googly Bear Hair Service. I'm obsessed with, I'm actually gonna give this to my niece who's a hairstylist and I'm gonna put 
some cute things in it for her. Um, I also made her a shirt with it because I was like, so cute. Um, and it, it's fitting for a hairstylist, not so much just wearing around as not a hairstylist. If I'm going to Disneyland, different, but okay, let me go through some questions as this cools down and we make the rest of these projects together. I'm gonna try to keep UV DTF over here and regular DTF over here. Let me grab your comments. Um, okay. I ordered it on Thursday and got it on Tuesday. Nice, and that was over a weekend. So if you were to order it on Monday, you might get it by the end of the week. Maybe we should call them Sticky DTF and Iron-On DTF. I like that idea, Janet. That's a good idea. So sticky, but so there's something I want you to remember. It's the UV portion. So because you're gonna need to know the name that other companies call it, and, and it's pretty personal calls it, so UV is sticky. Sticky UV DT, I don't know. <laughs> um, how'd you do that? Oh, Jason, hi cuz. Have you tried it if the water technique works for these? Um, no, I don't even use the water technique for vinyl because if you guys know me, which a lot of you guys do, you guys will know that I don't even like vinyl. I hate weeding vinyl. So I hate transfer tape, I hate, putting vinyl on anything. I hate removing transfer tape. So I was really excited when I saw how easy this stuff was and I don't have to weed it, layer it, or print it myself. Um, I was like, this is game changer. Like this is, this is game changer. So all that to say, no, I have not tried the water technique because I haven't run into issues with the three projects I've made with it. But I also will say, um, I think it's simple enough that it doesn't even need the water technique. I know that like, if you're trying to do a full cup wrap, it might be easier to use it, but how quick is the turnaround for sending out product? We covered that. Um, let me go up. Hey Tay, love these products. Hey guys, that makes sense how it can be confused for color changing. Right, so that's exactly what I was thinking because UV vinyl, the world of UV vinyl is all about light and changing the color of vinyl. So I was like, no, 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 no. Let's not add that name. Um, and if I was selling this product, I hands down would change the name of them, but just to not get my audience confused. But I'm not selling this product. My partner is selling this product, um, which my partners, it's pretty personal. I have a lot of partners, but it's pretty personal sells my glitter. They carry rhinestones and they do personalized a lot of things. So DTF, UV DTF, banners, vi like tons of fun stuff. Um, I think sticky DTF versus iron-on DTF will work for my brain. Right, so figure out a name that works for you guys. That'll be very helpful when you're ordering it so that way you just remember. And again, it'll become second nature. It really will. I know a lot of this stuff. It kind of reminds me of my first job. Um, I, I really remember like going to my first job and uh, being overwhelmed with like all the information you get. And then in a few months, you're like training the newbies on how to do it. So it'll become second nature. It won't be super complicated to remember, but education first, right? We got to figure that out. So I'm just using this towel to press this for the second time because DTF does need a second press. But if you want the deets on that, again, watch that video. Okay, so we have DTF. Iron-on DTF, regular DTF, just regular DTF on the right, and UV DTF, hard surfaces, sticky, sticker, waterproof. Um, all you need is scissors, alcohol, and a, what, a rag. I'm sure there's gonna be a couple other things you can use with this stuff, but really, that's all you need to get started with this if you order. This, you need a heat source. So an easy press, a heat press, a handheld heat press, a iron, and you can get moving with this. And then you can order as you need. If you need files, our members have tons of files. Our membership has a ton of files and I'm launching a whole new page just for this on Friday um, that is gonna 
hopefully knock your socks off, but it's gonna have a lot of things and I'm gonna release new things all the time for this product, both of these products really. Um, but I'm really excited about this product because I have a lot of stuff in there that could use some vinyls that I just haven't gotten around to cutting and weeding. Um, and honestly, heat transfer vinyl, I've got tons of shirts that I've been meaning to heat transfer vinyl stuff onto. But the thing is with this, it's not glittery, it's not flocked, it has no texture to it. So we're gonna do some mixed media this. And same with this, um, I really can't wait to do some mixed media because I'd love to add some pops of shiny golds to these and I'd love to add some glitter and some flocked and some brick and some puff to make these projects elevate a little higher. So if you're interested in learning more, our commercial use, uh, membership is open our business membership is closed right now but we have an annual membership as well that comes with commercial rights use and with both of our commercial and our annual you can sell with our designs so I am gonna be ramping up with some gift ideas but guys your DIYs are gonna be better than just the average slap some decals on a glass and sell it they're gonna be like make a little bit more money on that because you thought hard on how to do it or you took a technique that not everybody is doing. All right, will you create UV DTF so that it's not a cup wrap so it can be used for other projects? Absolutely. Um, these are our clip art. So I went over how to use clip art. This does not have to be used on a cup. I actually um, put them on my laptop yesterday and you could decorate your easy press. You could decorate so many things. And again, that idea video is gonna give you a lot of ideas. Um, but if you want like templates, I'm actually going to be doing some Canva templates for you guys and our UV DTF page is gonna be kind of this world of customize it yourself page. Instead of me like designing the exact cup you're gonna cut and send off to IPP, I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own designs and your own elements using our elements. So we're gonna have some seamless patterns hitting. We're gonna have some Canva templates for you guys to be able to drag and drop so that they'll fit Strata Cups and Stanleys and other mainstream cups that are coming to the market. Which I can't find my slim cup, I lost it yesterday. Um, how does the DTF hold up on shirts after you wash them? That is a great question as I'm not wearing a DTF shirt today. Um, what is, oh, so I made the, the Disney shirts before I went to Africa and we took some stuff to Africa and I have worn my Hercules one, the OG original girls group one, like once a week at least for the last five months and have washed it and it looks amazing. So it holds up really, really good. Just make sure that you press it properly and that you use a good heat press if you want. Um, I mean, not a good heat press, but you use a heat press to be able to put it on. So exactly what I was wanting. Will you, okay, that's all the questions. So that's where we're gonna leave it at. I hope that that cleared up if you did have any uh, confusion on what these two things are. We're gonna move forward for the rest of the week on UV DTF and ideas. And then I have some more design videos coming out for you guys if you guys like that. But I want all of your guys' projects to look different, but also look good. So elements are coming for you guys to create amazing things. Uh, again, it's prettypersonal.com has um, the ways to get both of these. Also new codes for members came out today. So make sure you check your member code today before you shop because all codes moved over because it's the first of the month. So if you're no longer a member, we'd love to have you back. Um, if you are a member, I can't wait to see what you guys do with these. Um, and drop some in the comments of this video, not the uh, live chat. Drop some characters you wanna see me make grunge shirts for or couple shirts or whatever for because it's my favorite thing to do right now literally um yes they hold great it holds up great says jess and melissa um okay i love you guys i will see you guys tomorrow